This jumbo reel weighs approximately 50 tons and stretches over 51,000 meters. And this machine in Sweden produces 24 reels daily, with each one completed in just one hour. Each jumbo reel is then cut down into 20 smaller reels, providing enough material to manufacture over 200 million single portion beverage packages. So, how do we ensure that this process remains both efficient and sustainable? By replacing a fossil based material with a fossil free board or paper, we create a more sustainable tomorrow. Join us as we explore how paper packaging material is made and why it is so sustainable. Paper and board are essential materials in packaging because they help reduce pollution and lower carbon emissions. The world needs packaging solutions that are renewable, reusable, recyclable, compostable, and climate efficient to minimize material use, reduce waste, lower costs, and cut carbon emissions. We have a lot of opportunities in front of us because we can always work harder to optimize the way of producing paper and board to make sure that we have a responsible business. The life of paper and board begins with forests, which are much more than a source of raw material. Paper and board manufacturers understand that their future business depends on maintaining healthy forests and biodiversity. One example is Swedish packaging material manufacturer Billerud which uses 13 million cubic meters of wood annually. Since they don't own much forest themselves, they can be selective about where they source their raw materials. All wood is traceable and controlled, with the company working to increase its share of certified wood for responsible management and reforestation. Around 30% of raw material comes from approximately 4,500 small forest owners, who are assisted with sustainable forest management. These forest owners are invited to join group certificates, ensuring that forestry practices are managed sustainably and responsibly. The focus is on balancing growth rates, social values, and climate benefits through retention forestry in Sweden, where 75% of the raw material is sourced. There is virtually no land use change in Sweden, and it's mandatory to replant after harvesting. Swedish forests have actually doubled the amount of CO2 they absorb from the atmosphere during the last 90 years, helping mitigate climate change. When a tree is harvested, nothing goes to waste. The lower part is sent to the sawmill for lumber production, while the middle part is used for producing pulpwood, which is essential for making paper and board. The bark, branches, and top of the tree are processed into biofuel, providing a renewable alternative to fossil fuels. In Sweden, all wood is measured by an independent company using standardized routines and structures nationwide. This way, Swedish companies can efficiently exchange wood with minimal transport distances and reduce CO2 emissions. After harvesting, the logs are transported to mills like this high-tech facility. One of the world's most advanced board machines operates here, with an annual capacity of 550,000 tons, producing enough board daily to manufacture one million milk cartons. During production, the focus is on minimizing resource use, such as raw materials, water, and energy to reduce carbon emissions. In fact, Billerud's European production is 98% fossil free. Paper mills need a lot of water. Surface water is mainly withdrawn for the production processes and is returned to waterways after eliminating contaminants through sedimentation basins, biological and chemical treatments. The industry has done huge changes the last years. For example, we have invested in boilers and turbines to generate electricity of our own. And for example, in our Karlsborg mill, we produce ourselves 72% of the electricity we use. We also, during last year, produced 1,100 gigawatt hours. And this actually provided heat to 66,000 households in Sweden. 
Wood is transported to the mill by train, vessel, and truck. The equivalent of one truck arrives every six minutes, ensuring continuous operation. The incoming wood gets well sorted and taken care of. The first stop is the timber yard, where logs are kept humid, fresh, and protected from fire. The logs are sorted so the mill can operate 24-7. A log stacker places the logs onto a conveyor belt, which feeds them into a debarking drum, a giant peeling machine. This process generates tons of leftover bark, which is burned for energy in biomass boilers. Power is also extracted from lignin, a glue-like component in the wood, by burning it in a recovery boiler. This energy is used to help heat the facilities. The deep bark timber then travels through a chipper. The wood chips are piled, and a conveyor belt carries them to the next step, pulp processing. Here, mechanical and chemical treatments transform the wood chips into different pulps, each tailored for various end uses or industries. Stringent standards for purity and cleanliness are crucial, especially for paper used in packaging food, medical, and hygiene products, where advanced inspection systems ensure rigorous purity control. Transforming pulp into paper and board is an impressive process. The material is formed, pressed, and dried at remarkable speeds, with paper machines running up to 900 meters per minute. The pulp, which starts at 99.8% water, is dried to just 7.5% water by the end of the process. This process begins by removing water from the pulp, which is spread onto a rotating wire mesh in the early stages of paper formation. After this, additional water is pressed out between large rolls in the press section. The final dewatering takes place in the drying section, where heated cylinders dry the paper into its final state. The finished paper is wound onto reels that are carefully transported to customers worldwide. Close collaboration with customers ensures innovative and sustainable materials that balance efficiency and performance with environmental responsibility throughout the value chain. The demand for sustainable packaging to protect goods is growing. By using recyclable, reusable, and renewable fibers from sustainably managed forests, paper packaging helps reduce our environmental footprint and protect the foods, drinks, and other products we rely on every day. Recycling paper reduces the demand for raw materials and contributes to preserving forests and wildlife habitats globally. With paper playing a significant role in packaging, manufacturers have a responsibility to design products that are recyclable and reusable. High-performance, sustainable packaging materials not only protects products, but also helps shape a more sustainable future for us all. Billarude.